What's up everybody? Today I'm gonna to show you how I upgraded my studio from looking like this to this. Let's go ahead and dive into it. It's been a long-term dream of mine to have a custom built wood studio desk in my setup. And today that's finally coming true for me. I thought it'd be cool to show you guys a complete makeover of the studio and let you in on the entire process. So today we're gonna to check out why I wanna upgrade from this current setup and all the new features of the new desk. This current setup has taken me a very long way and it's served me so well, but it's time for a few upgrades. A couple of things I wanna point out. The first thing is I recently got this ultra wide Samsung monitor and it's absolutely fantastic. The issue I'm running into is that my desk can't quite accommodate its size. I have my iMac on one side, I have the Samsung on the other side, and I'd rather have the Samsung dead center in my workflow directly underneath the mounted monitor that's on the wall. Another issue is that this desk can't quite comfortably accommodate my massive Native Instruments Complete Control S88 Mark II. This is a fantastic MIDI controller that I'm in love with, but right now the ergonomics aren't quite set up right. I'm having to reach over my trackpad and keyboard in order to get to the MIDI controller, and that's not really ideal. To accommodate for the limitations of the desk, right now I have my trackpad, my keyboard, and my loop deck CT all on a drawer pullout with a wood insert so that I can kind of have it as a platform. It worked for a long time, but right now I'm ready to be able to work directly on my desktop with my MIDI controller and a pullout dedicated drawer. Right now I'm doing more private lessons and meetings over Zoom calls than I care to admit. The issue is right now with where my iMac is, it's facing the one part of my basement that is not ideal and it doesn't have a very good background. So I'm always using a virtual background because what's happening behind me just isn't that interesting. So with this new desk setup, it's actually gonna be in an L shape. And with that L shape, I'll actually be looking at this beautiful wall that I've crafted here with a speaker, my mute rack and some other things that'll look way better in the background at my meetings. Last but not least, the other issue is monitoring. Right now, I've been using some old school analog speakers, which sound really great coming through a receiver, but it's not quite the studio quality that I wanna have when I'm mixing my projects. With this new eight foot wide desk setup, I'll actually have room to have my power monitors on the desktop, and it's gonna be absolutely fantastic. And I can get that Y format for a true experience when I'm listening and mixing my projects. Now, don't get me wrong, I fully recognize this is already a really dope setup, and it's carried me a long time but now it's time to move on and my projects have justified me being able to invest in myself and take this to the next level all right that's enough of me babbling about the issues with the old setup right now it's time to break all the stuff down and get ready for the installation of my new desk and then i have to set all the equipment back up again so here we go All right, so as you can see, um, it's stripped down. I can't believe it because it's been there's been a desk in that corner for so long. It's really crazy that there's not. But I thought right now I'll take a minute and I'm going to set up a couple things while I'm waiting for John and William to arrive to deliver the desk. I'm just gonna use this old desk as a workstation and set up my rack mount for my external hard drives. So I already have the new one installed. I'm gonna take the existing one that was sitting on my desktop, go ahead and get it inside of this absolutely beautiful uh, wood rack mount that I got off of Etsy. So um, I'll make sure I include the link. It's fantastic, I love it. Let's go. Yeah, this is crazy. All right, so. There it is, getting ready to bring it inside and we are rocking and rolling. Let's go. Time. 
time to put some stuff on it. All right. So far, I've been working with the desk for a little over a week now, and I'm loving the productivity and the workflow is so seamless. Just wanted to share a couple of details and give you guys an overview of the upgrades. Let's go. I work a number of different freelance jobs as an educator, composer, arranger, film composer, video editor, etc. So I really have a lot of needs and demands out of my desk setup. Because of this, I wanted to make sure that I had a seamless workflow as I move between the different types of tasks that I do on a daily basis. Now this first setup that I use is all based around my 27 inch iMac, which powers my entire station. I use this setup anytime that I'm on Zoom calls, doing screen recordings, private lessons, or anything of that nature. Pretty much anything where I don't need a lot of screen real estate, I'm in this first setup and this part of the L. Here I have a Magic Trackpad, a smaller Magic Keyboard, as well as a phone stand that I got off of Amazon that has MagSafe charging, as well as wireless charging for my Apple AirPod Pros. My secondary setup is all about video editing and producing and composing music. The monitor that drives this part of the setup is my 49 inch Samsung ultra wide curved monitor. This thing is a beast and I love it and it gives me so much screen real estate for having timelines for video editing as well as projects inside Logic Pro. The secondary screen is typically used for my mixer window when I'm running Logic Pro or if I'm composing for film, I'll have the picture running on that second screen so it's out of the way but still in my line of sight as I'm composing. Here I have another Magic Trackpad and a full-size Magic Keyboard. The benefit of having the two trackpad keyboard setups is that I can easily move between the different parts of the desk for different tasks without having to move my keyboard and also I have a few more keys available on this full-size Magic Keyboard. The Magic Keyboard and Magic Trackpad in both setups are inside of a wooden enclosure that I purchased from a place called Woody's Shop in Germany. You'll notice in my second setup, I also have a Loop Deck CT, which is a game changer for programming shortcuts, both within Adobe Premiere as well as Logic Pro. I use this all the time and it saves me so much time with keyboard shortcuts and it's really nice to have a tactile device that I can use to dial certain things in. All right, moving on to my music production and composition setup. At the heart of this setup is my Complete Control S88 Mark II from Native Instruments. I love this keyboard because of the weighted keys, the aftertouch, and the amazing screen that allows me to easily scroll through and dial in different sample libraries that I have with Complete Ultimate. One of the biggest game changers in this entire setup is this pullout drawer for my Complete Control S88 Mark II. Being able to push this out of the way when it's not in use is very convenient and also saves me a lot of space on my desktop. I also have an expression pedal called Touche on my desk as well as an MPD-218 from Akai for programming drums. Now powering all of my audio needs is my Apollo Solo. It's a fantastic device that allows me to easily switch between my monitor volume, my headphone volume, muting my monitor, and of course controlling my inputs and outputs. I have those running into a Behringer headphone amp as well as two Yamaha HS8s, which sound absolutely fantastic. I have both my headphone amp as well as the studio monitors running through a Furman power conditioner. This ensures that I get a very clean sound and also is a very easy way to cut on my monitors at the beginning of the day without having to reach around the back and cut on the monitors individually. I have my 770 Pros and my Audio-Technica headphones sitting on headphone stands that I got off of Etsy. My power conditioner, headphone amp, and my two Blackmagic SSD enclosures are located inside of some wooden rack mounts that I picked up from Etsy. Inside of my Blackmagic Thunderbolt rig, I'm running eight different SSD hard drives, giving me access to three terabytes of storage. I use two terabytes of that space to run my sample libraries and another terabyte to run any current projects. I also picked up this dope lamp which features some piping, wood, and some old Edison lights from Etsy. And last but certainly not least, my desk would not be complete without a little bit of plant life. My fiance Lulu bought me this plant and we put it inside of a little sugar bowl and nicknamed her Sugar. All right, that's all we have today for my studio upgrade. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure that you like, share, subscribe, and turn on the notifications. I'm Chris Johnson. Thanks so much for tuning in and I'll see you next time. Peace.